to another video. So today, um, oh my gosh, sorry, I could not find it. <laughs> so the other day I decided to, or I saw this challenge on uh, Blick, which is an art store's Instagram, and I saw that they were doing a challenge where you get mystery bags and create art with it. So I decided I'm actually gonna fold up the right. Um, I got one of their bags, so I got one that was themed Shining Stars. Um, I haven't opened it yet, um, but yeah, um, I will be posting the results on Instagram because I think if you, uh, there's going to be a panel of judges, and if you're in the top three, you can get some free art supplies, and I thought that was cool. Um, and it's running till the 4th of July, so if you wanted to go get some yourself and see if you could challenge yourself with some mystery art supplies, then uh, go to their art store. Um, I'm not sponsored, by the way, this is just, I thought this would be a cool video idea and a cool thing to do. So, let's open it. Oh my gosh, okay. So. paper and let's get to the mystery art supplies. So first thing I'm going to grab is oval paper. <laughs> Scalloped oval paper. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I can make little portraits. That'd be cute. <gasps> oh, there's 10 in there. I was, oh, I had an idea. <laughs> um, next thing is some metallic pencils from Derwent. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't, I'm probably gonna say the same thing about all of these. Um, then we have a jelly roll in some sort of color. Um, <laughs> and then we have, oh, I've always wanted one of these actually. Um, a Tombow However you pronounce that, I'm going to say, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> um, and this is in black and it's a brush pen. Ooh, it's like a plastic nib type of pen. Okay, okay. And then that is it. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> so... I'm just gonna be honest because um, that's what we do here. Um, so all of the bags had different prices to them and they were like specifically curated. So mine was Shining Stars and I paid $23 for this um, and this isn't including tax. Um, oh, so this is $3.99. I don't even know how much these are. These are probably way more expensive than they should be. Um, but I don't, I don't know if this is $23 worth of stuff, but you know, we are still going to work with it anyway. <laughs> um, there's a different bag that I was actually looking at and it was, um, what was it called? It's like, it was themed Enchanted to Meet You or something. Um, but I thought I would have a better idea doing it with this. So, um, yeah, let's, let's swatch these.
it. So these are all the swatches of all of the supplies. And then obviously I can't really swatch paper. Um, but I will open these. So it's pretty smooth paper, um, but yeah. So these are the supplies that I have to work with. And here are the official, oh, I dropped it. <laughs> the official contest rules. So obviously you start by purchasing the bag, um, create artwork using all the materials and additional supplies may be used. Um, and then tag the, tag your creation on Instagram um, have fun. Uh, and then at the end of the contest, a panel of judges will crop down, uh, crop the group down to a top three, which will win an assortment of free art supplies. And then the contest ends July 4th at 11.59 p.m. So I thought that this was a really cool contest and that these supplies will definitely, um, <laughs> test my abilities. So yeah, let's get started I guess. So I decided to take the outline of the little like oval shapes and I decided to sketch my ideas. So one of my first ideas was like the zodiac or constellations as you can see that I'm writing in the top corner. Um, but definitely the zodiac thing stuck and you'll see that. So right now I'm drawing Aries because I wanted to see if this um, idea would work out and I really did like how it worked out. So I'm doing like, I'm taking black paper and I'm drawing on, or I'm cutting half of it out so that it's on half of the thing so that I can use the metallic colored pencils in their full glory. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna color the other side with my Copic markers and then I'm going to outline the outside with that gel pen. So then the other ones that I'm doing are Cancer, Gemini, and Virgo, because I there's only 10, so I wanted to do one of each of the like elemental signs. And yeah, so here's me starting that. Um, so first I started off with Aries, and then we went through all of them. were kind of like oh on the black side of the paper I would like draw like a mutant version of them with like their zodiac sign so for example this is the Aries one and so I just drew like a girl with some braids but then on the black paper side I drew her with some ram horns and so I thought that was cool <laughs> um but yeah um the Aries one has ram horns, as I said before, and then I used the red uh, metallic color pencil with that because I feel like red is a very like Aries color and it goes with the color scheme.
with the pen was so like infuriating I guess it was just like so time consuming and it, this gel like don't get me wrong everybody starts off with jelly roll I, you know it's good you know whatever but honestly jelly rolls are not very good unless you're literally just writing with them like doing art with uh, jelly rolls are not the best thing and probably shouldn't be doing it um also i just kind of gave up with making the little um like cut out oval shapes on the black paper side so because that would have been a lot and honestly this took me an hour to do and usually art doesn't take me that long but that's also because i don't i don't have the patience for that so uh, i tried really hard on the white side to um you know, make it look nice, but on the left side, I could totally tell that I just kind of gave up. Um, but I do really like how it turned out, and I like how I used that in this, because I knew that was going to be a challenge to put the jelly roll in with the other supplies.
trying to decide an earth sign i had a really hard time with it because so like i know a lot of fire signs i am a fire sign myself um that's why i did aries <laughs> um and then i know an air sign that i wanted to do and i was like oh okay i had an idea for that and then uh the water sign cancer i had an idea for that but earth sign i didn't want to do taurus or capricorn because then i would have just given them horns like the aries one and that would have just very much looked the same but, so then I decided to go with Virgo, but I didn't want to make it, like, boring. I didn't want to just make it a girl, even though I kind of did. Um, so I just gave a, a Virgo, oh my gosh, I almost said Aries. <laughs> I gave Virgo a little halo because I thought that would be cool because they're seen as such, like, an innocent sign when in reality they are not, as, as I've heard. I don't think I know any Virgos, but... I thought that was cool and I decided to use purple for Virgo because it just kind of felt right. <laughs>
So for Cancer, I I wanted to do something watery, but then I already did Virgo and I was like, oh, Virgo's hair is like kind of flowy anyway. So I wanted to come up with something different. And since Cancer's like mascot or symbol is a crab, I thought that I would kind of give them like, this is gonna sound really weird, floating crab appendages coming off of their head. Um, since I gave Aries the horn and that's kind of like off of their head and then I gave Virgo the halo, I thought that the little like, um, what is it called? Like the pincer? Pincher? Pincer. Not sure. But the little like grabby bit of the hand. Um, and then like little legs because I think that crabs have six legs so I gave them three because it's the one side. Not really sure. Didn't fact check that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that was my idea. You can see the little leggy. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a really cool idea and I went with it.
So we have the air sign Gemini, and of course I did two drawings of people, um, one on each side, and so I kind of wanted them to be the same but also different. Like you could tell that they were kind of the same person, but they were also kind of their own person. So I made one kind of angry looking with their hair in a tight bun as you will see, and then um, the other person with the same hairstyle, it's just the bun is low and they were, they're kind of just like looking into the distance, <laughs> I'm not sure. They're just kind of there and living their life. But yeah, I really liked this one. Um, it actually kind of turned out better than I thought it would. Um, all of these kind of did actually, but I really liked how they turned out. So I will let you watch the rest of it.
making these zodiac themed like plaques I guess um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video um go check out the contest at Blick if you're interested and I will see you guys all later bye